In this episode, we'll look at securing our forms with Cloudflare's new Turnstile service. Turnstile is a free capture replacement. You can choose between different modes um, where the user might have to interact with it or not, and it can also be fully invisible. Now, you might have seen on our launch week page, we have this ticketing service, virtual tickets. And recently there was someone who wanted a ticket very badly and created a couple thousand of these tickets. And obviously that isn't something that we want. So we want to make sure we um, secure our form by adding this free capture service uh, into our form here. To get started, we need to log into our Cloudflare dashboard and then go to Turnstile and add a new site. So let's do that. We go in here, we add a new site, we call it Edgy Edge Functions. And then for domain, we'll just going to use localhost for now for testing. There we go. And then we can choose between the widget types so we can say we want managed where Cloudflare kind of decides based on um, based on sort of the factors what to show. Um, but there will never be any kind of images or text to decipher. decipher. Um, or we can choose a completely invisible, which is a great option for myself because I don't want to do any front end styling. So I can then just turn it invisible. But let's get started with the managed and see how we get on from there. So here we'll then get um, our site key, uh, which we need in our front end. So this one um, we put in the client site integration code. Uh, and then we need our secret key uh, in our server site integration code. So in our Superbase Edge function, and we'll look at that in a second. But let's look at the client side. Um, so to protect forms, we can simply add um, this diff to our form. Um, the Cloudflare turnstile diff and then add our site key. So let's go ahead. Um, so this is the launch week page here running on localhost. And we have our form component here. So we have our um, form button. And then underneath, we'll add our Cloudflare turnstile. We're here in a Next.js application. So we need to use uh, React. We'll just do the class name uh, Cloudflare turnstile here and then we'll add our um, site key from the dashboard. So here, this is our site key. Let's copy that, paste that in here. Um, and then lastly, what we need to do is we need to import this um, script, this JavaScript script from Cloudflare. So in a Next.js application, what we can do is um, we can get, um, we can use the script uh, from next scripts, the script component, and then we can import our script um, within um, our React component like this. So we make sure that the script is only loaded um, lazy on load, so it's kind of loaded in the background um, and only you know on any page where we have this form, uh, the form component here. And then what we're doing is uh, so in our form we're handling the form with JavaScript on um, on the client side. So what we'll need to do is kind of in the on submit handler, we'll just go in there. Um, we have this prevent default. And then what we're doing is so the way that Cloudflare handles um, forms is there is um, an invisible input attached to the form called um, CF turnstile response. So what we can do is just from our uh, form, so our um, on submit handler, we can create new form data, and then we can just get the Cloudflare turnstile response um, as a string from uh, from the form data, and then we're just checking that we have um, the Cloudflare response uh, turnstile response here. Uh, what we can do is just we'll quickly do a console dot log of our turnstile response. And then we can look at that here. And so now if we go back to our page, give that a refresh, 
So we can now see our Cloudflare turnstile um, widget added here. It messes up our CSS a little bit, what we can later go and turn it invisible, which is great. So let's go ahead, test, uh, test.de, register. And we can now see that um, our Cloudflare turnstile here returns this token. And so this token is what we then need to send to our cloud function um, to handle that on the server to validate the token. So now let's go ahead and um, look at the server side integration piece. So we can look here at the uh, server side integration. So pretty much the server side validation is just um, sending a curl request or you know sending an HTTP request. And you can see that here. Um, we can send um, this post request here to the Cloudflare API. Uh, and that is pretty much it. That is the way we can, um, we can validate this. And so let's go ahead and um, create a new function. So we say superbase functions create, and we'll just call it Cloudflare hyphen turnstile. Okay, so let's say superbase functions new, and we'll just call it Cloudflare hyphen turnstile. So we have a new function here now. Let's open this up in um, VS Code. So we have our new um, function here. Now, first of all, one thing we need to do if we want to call our function from um, the client side, so via the browser, we need to handle a course. So we have um, a course example here. And so we'll just need to get some course headers. Um, and what we can do is actually we can create these maybe in a um, shared folder. So we'll need access control, allow origin, and then we'll need to allow um, a couple of headers here. And so let's go ahead and um, in our functions, create a new file we'll create a shared folder because this is useful for you know other functions in the future as well and then we'll just um, say here um, export const course headers and then we can import this in our um, function we can just say import from and we'll go here in the shared folder. Um, we can say from our course, uh, we want our course headers. Uh, and then what we can do is just um, here, if we go back to our functions, we'll look at our browser with course. We'll need to handle uh, the options request here. So um, this is kind of the options pre pre-flight request um, that we need to handle in any case. So if we get an options request, we just respond with our um, course headers, and then we'll get subsequently, we'll get the post request. Okay, so let's, um, we want the token here um, from our um, body, uh, JSON body. Uh, and then we can say, um, we want to go ahead and validate that token. So let's go back to the documentation. So we'll need our um, secret key. So the secret key we can um, write to uh, our Superbase secrets um, and then handle that with Dino. So let's actually just go ahead and um, the part that we need is pretty much um, this one. So we already have the token right from our uh, response. Uh, and then what we need as well, we need our secret key. So we'll just say um, dino.env.get and we'll call it um, Cloudflare secret key. Go cloud for secret key, um, and that could be empty. So in that case, we'll just um, 
put an empty string, uh, and then we'll get we'll get an error message. Um, and so what we can do now is we can create a new file. We'll call it .env, uh, and there we'll create our Cloudflare secret key. Let's put that in here. Uh, from our dashboard, we can copy the secret key. Um, obviously, do keep this one secret, so don't do what I'm doing here. Um, don't share this with anyone. Um, and then we have our Cloudflare secret key. We have our token. And then lastly, we need the uh, IP address. So um, in the case, you know, if you're handling this with Cloudflare workers, you can get the IP address um, from the header like this. Um, in Dino, Superbase Edge functions, we also have um, a function um, example for this. So we can see here in this one um, where we're getting the user location uh, from the ID. We can um, copy this out here. So we'll have, um, let's say actually hello from Cloudflare turnstile. Okay, and so we'll get our IPs um, from here. And then we can do um, we can do this one IPs, uh, client IPs. And then we get the IP is our uh, let's take the first one in the array. So this one is an array of strings and then our client IP. And so now we have all the information that we need. We need our secret. Um, we need our response token and we need our IP address. And then we can fire off um, this uh, request to Cloudflare to validate our token. And in the um, let's do a console log of the um, outcome. And then what we can do is in um, we can just say, um, maybe we'll just say success. Okay, great. And then lastly, in the case that uh, Uh, and then we can say in this case, uh, failure. Okay, so now we have our function um, ready. So let's go ahead and um, run this function locally. So Superbase start to start up our um, local Superbase stack. Uh, and then what's important here is we'll need um, the API URL and um, the anon key. So that's then how we can call our function from the client side. So um, let's go in here. So in our turnstile, we will invoke our function um, with the Superbase um, client library. Uh, so Superbase functions invoke. Uh, and the important thing is we'll need to create um, a Superbase local host client. Let's do that. Um, and so we can say here, we'll import uh, from Superbase, uh, Superbase JS, we'll import the create client. And then we'll say, um, const Superbase local host client equals um, create client and we can pass in our um, localhost credentials. So locally our stack is running here. Um, so that's our API URL and then we can pass in our um, anon key for the local um, communication. So and now we have the Superbase localhost client and we're then calling Superbase localhost client functions invoke 
Cloudflare turnstile. And here we're sending an email and the token, but for now we're just interested in um, validating the token. Um, and so one uh, important thing is when we're now serving the function Superbase functions um, serve, we want Cloudflare turnstile. And we will need to run it with um, our env file, which is in Superbase functions Cloudflare turnstile Josh env. So that way we make sure that our Cloudflare secret key uh, is injected into our function. And now we get hello from Cloudflare turnstile. So if we go back to our form, we refresh this. And we now run, we're registering. And now you can see um, we got a message back here. So this is our outcome from the Cloudflare uh, turnstile result. So we're getting success, true, and there we go. This is validated. So we saw this was a real human submitting our form. And then we can go ahead and we can perform the action of interacting with the database, uh, for example, adding their submission to the table. Um, the table and you know making sure they are signed up so that's it this is how we can add cloudflare turnstile a free capture replacement um, to our website and validate the outcome in superbase edge functions thanks for tuning in and see you next time